Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. A bit of a different setup for today's video. This is me from the future again. I wanted to ensure that I filmed this introduction separately because this is probably one of the most important videos I'm going to make on this channel and I wanted to ensure that this intro was absolutely perfect. You will see later on in this video that I spend a full day with the charity Smartworks. So to tell you a little bit more about Smartworks and what they do, um, although there is a lot of information in this video and I really hope that you do watch this video the whole way through because this is probably one of my most favorite videos I've ever filmed. But basically Smartworks provide high quality interview clothing and training for vulnerable women. Now you have to be referred to to Smartworks by your job center. So if you are in the position where you are going to your job center regularly and you feel like you would be a great candidate who would benefit from all of the amazing work that Smartworks does, then please do speak to the people at your job center about putting you in touch with Smartworks. Women are referred to Smartworks from job centers, prisons, homeless shelters, work programs, and also mental health charities. And the one thing that all of these women have in common is that they are suffering from a lack of confidence when getting back into the workplace and Smartworks role is to help them both look and feel ready to go into the interview process again and also work. Now what you are going to see in this video is a second dressing appointment and also you are going to see me speak to a lot of the amazing women that work for Smartworks and they all do such incredible jobs that I was really honored that they were able to speak to me on that day. But the person who really stole the show was Antigone. Speaking to her was one of the most amazing experiences of my life because it really did show the impact that these organizations and charities have on people's everyday life. Now I receive quite a few messages to my personal inbox from women wanting to get back out there and get back into work but for whatever reason in their life they've lost their confidence and they just don't know which way to turn. So I hope by making this video if there is anyone watching this and thinking this sounds like me I hope that by introducing you to what Smartworks does, you are able to begin the road to changing your life and taking life by the balls and getting the job that you want and also changing your life for the better. Smartworks services now operate across the country. North London, West London, Edinburgh, Greater Manchester, Reading, Newcastle and Birmingham and they are just about to open another centre in Leeds. So please do get in touch with the local Smartworks in your area. And hopefully there will be many more opening across the UK very soon. So I appreciate that this is a slightly different video for my channel, but like I said, I really hope that you watch this till the end. And if you do want any more information, I will have tried to jam pack my description box with all of the relevant links and information to help you or anyone that you know get in touch with Smartworks today. But even if you aren't looking to utilize Smartworks as a charity, there are so many ways that you can get in touch and help. And I tell you all about that in this video. And if I know you, I know that you will have so many items in your wardrobe that you're looking to get rid of or to know of places where to send it. Please do send any workwear appropriate pieces and items to the address in my description box because they need more clothes and they need more specific sizes. They need handbags and they need shoes so if you do have anything that you can donate please please do and I hope that you're ready for about a 40 minute video <laughs> sorry it's quite long but it is all about women empowering women and the amazing things that happen when we do that so I hope you enjoy watching I have stood in front of many mirrors and talked to you guys through my outfit on many occasions and I feel like today is a little bit different. I'm not going to be telling you what I'm wearing but I'm going to be telling you how it makes me feel and why I've picked this particular outfit for today. I think that's something that I wish I'd kind of done over the years with all of the times that I've stood in front of these mirrors and talked you through what I'm wearing. I've never really told you how they make me feel and why I wear them. And when it comes to the interview process, you always want to be putting your best foot forward. 
and feeling confident at the same time. So I've picked this particular dress because it's a little bit colorful, a little bit more colorful than I would usually go for. However, I feel like it's putting a aspect of my personality across. I think I've got quite a colorful personality and I think this is a good choice, but it's also quite smart because it's a collared dress and it is uh, down to my sort of shins. So even though it is colorful, it is still quite smart at the same time. So hopefully I'll be putting my best foot forward today when I'm meeting the amazing ladies at Smartworks. Obviously, I'm not going to have Cal with me today for obvious reasons. This is a environment that is a safe haven for women. So I'm taking my best friend Carrie, who also works with me, and she will be behind the camera, hopefully capturing all of the, the amazing work that they're doing today. So I'm gonna jump in my car and go and meet Carrie at the station and we're gonna head down to London together to the Smartworks offices. So let's go. We are in the taxi heading to St. Charles Hospital to the Smartworks offices that are there. I've been jotting down some questions all morning for the people that I'm going to be meeting when I'm there because I'm meeting one of the stylists and also one of the coaches and I'm also going to be meeting Kate who is the CEO of Smartworks. I'm with this one and I've had her checking over my questions because I want them to be good. I want them to be informative, so that if any of you guys are watching this and you're thinking, I don't know whether I should get in touch with Smartworks, hopefully everything that you see in this video will make you feel like you're a little bit more in the know and feel a lot more comfortable if you do want to get in touch. But I'm really looking forward to getting there and seeing what the day is going to bring. just arrived and there's been a slight change to the runnings of the day but that's perfect and it means that we're actually going to get to speak to some of the clients here at Smartworks which for me is going to be so important that you meet some of the people that are benefiting from this service and also seeing the whole process from start to finish and getting a real idea of what's going on and how amazing this is because the first time I came to their other offices it was incredible so I'm really excited to get started I'm just gonna have a chat through everything and then get going so we are in the stylist suite here at Smartworks and we're here with Antigone and she has just got the job that she was going for. So this is her second dressing appointment and at the moment she's in the changing room changing into the outfit that she got here from Smartworks, part of her capsule wardrobe that they prepare for their clients and this is the actual outfit that she wore to her interview but seeing everything here it just takes my breath away I can't imagine what what confidence boost to know that you have all of these amazing items to choose from and it's so important that you're always putting your best foot forward but I was just saying to Antigone because she's quite a colourful person and one of the things that I used to do when I was going through the interview process post university was I always felt quite corporate and quite monochrome when I was going to interviews but I always needed to have a little bit of colour on me somewhere just to remind me of who I was so I used to wear like really colourful pants <laughs> it's just one of those things that you do and I just used to know that that was there and it made me feel happy but I'm going to speak to Debbie and Claire who have been helping Antigone going today as well and we're just going to be talking through the looks that they pulled for her and also just the entire process from start to finish because I think this is absolutely fascinating so let's get into it Should we just stick with black and white or should we introduce navy? And in the end, we decided, didn't we, Antigone, yeah. that we stick with black, stick right, with black yeah. so that she's got the maximum interchangeable yeah. pieces. Obviously, you can put trousers or a dress or a skirt, a skirt. in the same jacket yes. so that you're not changing and up the colours. she's now got two uh, slightly different black jackets. And the brilliant thing about these, these are the John Lewis ones, yeah. they're actually machine washable. Which again, <laughs> when we talk about the practicality yes. of going to work, <laughs> machine washability is very important. And John Lewis is a partner of yeah. Smart yes. work, so you do a lot of work yes. with them yes. as well. Yes. Yes. yes, so these are the trousers and the clocks. These clocks are amazing as well. And this is part of Antigone's capsule wardrobe? Yes, yes. this oh, is her capsule wardrobe. So we've just got the skirt to hang. 
So the other conversation that we actually had, because on a second dressing, clients can choose five pieces. So you've got jacket, trousers, culottes, yeah. and a skirt. Just one shirt, because you can actually pick up yeah. white shirts much more easily and more cheaply, whereas mm -hmm. these pieces are much more investment pieces. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Cool. That was very good. Yeah. Very good. But is this... This is a winning outfit. This is the one they got a winning outfit, yeah. That was the one oh. I wore. <laughs> and so where's the, where's the dress from? Um, I think the dress is uh, Mark and Spencer. Yes. And right. uh, the vest is uh, John Lewis. And why was it this particular outfit that you wore? Um, I think the, the woman, the, you know, they, they made me try many outfit and uh, that was the best one. And you felt amazing in it? Yeah. And, and you still felt very comfortable. And, uh, I mean, um, everything was fantastic. I mean, that was the outfit, the perfect one for me. Oh, good. So, yeah. And you're going to wear this now when you go into the job? Because you've actually got the job. Now. I got the job. And when do you start? I started two weeks ago. Oh my gosh. Yes, How are you finding it? It was a bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> You know, to be honest, yes, yeah, it's been a long time, yeah. so it was quite tiring. Um, yeah, I can but, yeah, you know, and uh, but you know, I'm into it. I was looking for work, so I've got it. So I have to go for it now. When I came here, I didn't know about smart um, work, but when I came here, I really felt like, wow, you know, I was yeah. wild. I, I <laughs> was wild. Like, uh, because we were my. Uh, <laughs> When you go to the job centre, you've yeah. got that uh, that personal, um, how do you call it, uh, like a consultant. Yeah. You know, she talks to you about options and things like that. Yeah. So she told me, okay, when I got the, the interview, she said, okay, you haven't got clothes, so I will give you some voucher. Or, oh, listen, I've got this, I heard about this company called Smart Fit. And you know what? They got lovely, lovely clothes and everything. And I went, oh my God, what's that? <laughs> well, she said it's a charity. I was thinking about the charity shops and yeah. things like that. So oh, I know exactly yeah. what you mean. Yeah. And when you come here, it is <laughs> it's nothing no, like no, that. It no, it's like saying in she, But she a said, oh, apparently they've got lovely clothes. John yeah. Lewis, you know, sometimes you can get some new outfit and things like that. I said, okay, I would go for it. Yeah. But when I came in, I was like, wow, okay, okay. And when I met the two ladies, oh my god, my I was so <laughs> oh, I was so like lovely. I was very emotional to be honest. The first time I came up, you know, the way they you know they brought me in here, the way they took care of me, yeah, and the clothes and I saw some you know, some stuff that I never you know, I could never afford. Yeah. Like um the, the shoes was from um Jimmy Shoe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had some gym shoes, Burberry was that, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I was like, oh my god, I can't never afford gym shoes. But I had it. Yeah. And the bag, which is a, this is a John Lewis oh, bag, a leather John bag. Yes. Wow. Oh, yes. Yes. That's a leather bag. John Lewis bag. Like, oh twirl. my god. Wow. And, <laughs> and That's gorgeous. You know, it was so, I mean, the, the, the atmosphere yes. was so positive. Everything was so positive. Yeah. I mean, and I, after that, after the, the dressing, I went for the, the interview. And I mean, they asked me questions and they, they trained me yeah. to go for my interview. How did you find the, the training part? It was, it was fantastic. Yeah. I mean, I like the, the dressing the part. The clothing part is fun <laughs> too. But, but the interview is like where you kind of got to like yeah. really prepare yourself for, exactly. for what's going to happen when you go to the interview. But did you, like, how do you feel differently now to um, when you first came in? I wish I heard from them before, oh, to be honest. I wish I had this, uh, <laughs> because I went through a lot of interviews. Yeah. And um, I had a degree in translation, and I've been going for, uh, you know, translation jobs, and until, you know, I never, I never got, got into it. Yeah. And I felt like, you know, maybe if I came here before, yeah. you know, with the dress and with the training and yeah. everything, you know, maybe you think it would have been better. It is an art, though, isn't it? It's, it's an art going into interviews and hitting every mark yeah, and yeah. it's so important to have places like this that can help you with exactly. the bits that maybe you're not quite so confident with. And exactly. It's, uh, hearing you speak about it is amazing. No, it's, uh, it, really it was, it was a, such a positive, such a fantastic experience yeah. and I came out so 
and you know they made, made they made me feel so comfortable. They made me how I I couldn't. I was so happy. I just went smiling. Like it made me so happy. Oh my god! It, <laughs> no, it was the best experience. And I, I wrote in my paper. I said this this was the best experience. And when they told you about you know when you get the job, come and you're gonna have five. When they said that, I said, okay, I need to get that. So how did you get the job? Yeah, exactly. So you know you. You you've got an incentive when yeah. you come out of here. You've got yes. an incentive. You've yeah. got you're dressed. You've got tips for your interviews, and you've got an incentive. Yeah. You know to get the job. So I think this is the best best, and it's really funny because I've never heard of smart. Yeah. You know. So and this is why we're here today yeah. because yeah. I, I feel the exact same way as you. Yeah. It's it should be something that more people exactly. know about. So many amazing women supporting other women and yeah. helping them go and do the things and achieve the things that they want to do. Yeah. 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 Something that we should all be shouting about, mm. and hopefully we can share this. Oh yeah, online you can shout because very loud because those I think they are amazing. I think it's an amazing, and I think it's, you're doing some voluntary work, and I think this is this is crazy. This is really good, and it should be. You know, people should be talking about it. Yeah, I feel like you should be talking. Yeah. About it. Yeah. 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 Honestly, yeah. it's such a yeah. Yeah. No, 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 it's it's really no. I felt so positive. So yeah. Very good that day, you know. Oh. I, I was a bit down when I came in because I went through so many, you know, um, interviews and things like that. But coming out of here gave me about this, you know, this positive. And I thought about the, <laughs> the, the dress and the, the clothes, and I said, okay, I need to get that job. They come back here for the dress. Yeah. Yeah. Do it the dress. <laughs> <laughs> so honestly, yeah. that was the best experience, oh. best best thing ever that happened to me. Well, this is my first time speaking to someone who's actually lived the full experience, oh, yeah. and speaking it's, to you is amazing. amazing. I'm just so happy for you. Congratulations Thank on getting you the job. Very you much. look <laughs> amazing. <laughs> that short chat that we've just had is going to help so many women oh. know that this this is here this for them. Is. I mean, see, this is obviously seeing yeah. more so the the fashion the side of things. Of it coming yeah. Yeah. It's just a, you know, it's just yeah. a, the two together. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Got all of it's yeah. fantastic, that, amazing. Uh, I think that's going to be one of the things that's yeah. really going to blow my yeah. mind is yes. the interview post because yes. everyone's yeah. nervous yes. going into interviews. Yeah. But when you've, like you were saying, being knocked back so many times, yes. you just you find yourself in a point where once upon a time you might have had confidence, but yeah. now or going through that time and time again, it yeah. must be so hard to come back from that. So to be able to have people that are able to sort of offer tips and yeah. coach you through that yeah. is invaluable it's amazing mm -hmm. it really and is and it's ideal to start with the dressing Definitely. yes so you yes. look in the mirror and you think okay yeah, yeah. okay yeah even if i'm said i look the part yeah. so yeah. you <laughs> then go into the, the interview yeah. coaching and that's just the it's, it's, on it's the face, just a, 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 a it's amazing it's a compliment it's all together you've got the yeah. dressing you feel yeah. comfortable in yourself in your skin everything yeah and you go there and you get some great tips and honestly fantastic that's the tips I used, oh, yeah, you know, yeah. they were amazing. And, and the booklet actually is really good, isn't yeah. it? That they give you all the things to consider yeah. right. going into yeah. an interview. Yeah. It's really yes. awesome. oh, yeah. You get things to take away from oh, yes. the interview as well, oh, yeah. so you can kind of run over yeah. things as well. Exactly. And did yeah. you find that those questions came up in your interview? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> Amazing! I wrote it down, everything, <laughs> <laughs> and I, you know, I practiced for two days, and wow. you know, I went there, and everything was perfect. But thank you so much. Thank you so much. And you look you. amazing. Thank you very much. <laughs> so, Antigone's job—you'll be going into different places, won't you? Hotels yeah. and all sorts of mm -hmm. different locations. Yeah. So we decided we would stick just with black, although she probably could wear navy as well, because then we could give maximum choice mm -hmm. and interchangeability amongst, amongst the items. So you saw that Antigone had the dress and the jacket for her interview. What we've added in is another John Lewis jacket, but with a slightly different collar. Mm -hmm. And then also John Lewis, a pair of long flared trousers and very much look of the season but really practical wide leg culottes mm -hmm. and both of these can go with the jackets and then a gorgeous Burberry shirt Amazing. I bet and that fits so oh, nicely <laughs> and finally a black straight skirt so everything here we'll see Antigone through her 
autumn, winter, yes. summer wardrobe oh, yeah. whilst at work. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Amazing. And, and like Claire said, what mm -hmm. we suggested was that from a from a sort of a, an investment point of view, taking the pieces that cost more money is if, if, if good solid advice yes. when you're starting out. Because exactly. yeah, yeah, exactly. Tight. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. Things that you can layer yeah. over maybe yes. uh, lesser yes. priced items yes. and yes. get the look. That's it. It's all about the key pieces. That's, that's how I that's how I dress. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Gosh, you, yeah. you pick the pieces yeah. that yeah. elevate the wardrobe mm -hmm. and then you can go to other different high street yeah. stores and pick out the bits that yeah. you need on a day to day yeah. basis. Yes. Perfect. Yes. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Thank, thank you, you. so much ladies. Thank you. This is the perfect start to today. I can't wait to see the rest of what goes on here because <laughs> this is just amazing. Yeah, it's really amazing. It's a very good show. <laughs> the best. Right, that was honestly amazing. Well done. Well, well, thank you very well. much. Good luck. I hope you enjoy it. Take care. <laughs> Bye. 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 Really not like me to almost well up like that. Like seriously, I'm not a very emotional person. I mean, it's this, not. This is leaky face. She's always crying, but I. Are you doing a bit of weeping? Oh, yeah. I, I was when she was saying her story. Oh my goodness! Like I was struggling to like. Yeah. You need a lifetime supply of Kleenex I in this know. place. I'd be bawling the it whole day. It's just the it most is, rewarding thing to be is, a part of. Yeah, and, and I said it's very humbling because yeah. all of them are coming because there's a reason why they need to come, mm. and to lift that opportunity for them is. For me, it's just worth every minute. Yeah. So I would love to know more about the the right. stores and brands that support what right. it is that you do. Right. So we have a number of large retailers that that are incredibly kind right. um, and um, donate every season mm -hmm. across um, all sorts of clothing. So um, dresses, jackets, suits, um, shoes, bags. Um, yeah. I mean, yes. you've heard. Yeah, but that's so important. Um, um, so this is just a small, a small collection of uh, of what we've got, and we've pulled it because it's helpful to see. Yeah. So they're not in any particular order, but you know the Burberry label. The yeah. Burberry label um, is um, a huge, huge contributor, and it's their workwear, isn't it? Yes. So it's what the staff. Wear. Yes. So it's perfect for what you're, what yes, you're doing here. Absolutely. If it's good and enough for the Burberry staff yes. to wear to work. Then yes. The other retailer is, is John Lewis. They supply a really lovely eclectic mix of things, which which is really helpful. Mm -hmm. um, so it's not just necessarily your work. It's not just shirts. Right. Yes. So we get dresses, um, and this beautiful. particular dress is beautiful. I feel like that's a bit of you, Carrie. It <laughs> is a bit of me. I'm not going to lie. I've been eyeing that one up. Um, the yeah. spring summer yeah, collection. So in store now which is amazing it's a, a lovely thing to, yeah. to say as well yeah the, the items that are in the shops yeah well. it's not just last season yeah, yeah, yeah. you're actually getting to wear what's available yeah. now we always try and ascertain what type of industry they're going into mm -hmm. what the role is that they're going to be doing so so you're giving them the right look yeah you know they're not turning up in something which everybody's going to go yeah it's absolutely fits in and then Hobbs is another another um, yeah. um, oh, wow. big sponsor and then we get some fun shoes from them as well so Such amazing pieces though. I, I like it. you would just feel so yeah. like you are putting your best foot forward when you have this at, at your And then the only other one we've called is Dorothy Perkins, I and mean, this is a cute cute dress. Mm -hmm. Their fit mm. is fantastic. Mm. Really? Wow. Yeah. yeah. Oh god. Isn't it? <laughs> yeah. The fit is just amazing. Definitely. And Evans as well. I don't know if yeah. we've got any pieces yes. from Evans here, but they are just fantastic because they go up to the sizes that we really need because we right. stock here up to a size 33. Right. And they provide us with a lot of those bigger size pieces, so we're really thankful for, for Evans uh, for supporting us. I was going to well. say, are there any particular sizes that yeah. maybe you really feel like you need more of? Yeah, I think it's anything from a size 16 up, really, because that tends to be the kind of right. shortfall with retailers um, providing to us, I would say. The larger size from 16 up clothes and then large, larger size shoes as well. Okay, and you do um, accept donations yes. from people like me? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay. Handbags, handbags. handbags and shoes, yes. I think, as well, because no obviously. Yes, uh, yeah. today is a very good handbag day. Right. <laughs> yeah, I love a good handbag day. Yeah. Normally, <laughs> yes. handbags are a major challenge for us. Well, I definitely reckon that's something that I can I can yeah. probably help with as well. Yeah. So if I've got any any handbags, that I'll, I'd love to. And they are often the finishing touches that just yeah. take an outfit to a whole new level. Yeah. In my head, I've got two handbags, oh. perfectly unused. Yeah. I think it would be perfect. So I'll make sure oh, you know, I get these so those. Right. Over. I mean, I've still got that yeah. massive bag yeah. sat in my wardrobe waiting to come. Yeah. 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 So I'll, I'll get it sent sent down because it's just waiting. There. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> is there any particular way that you prefer people to, to send in pieces? So they just have to be sent in to us, so we don't go out and kind of collect pieces. Right. So they would have to be kind of shipped in to us to the right address. Right. Um, and obviously with the, the UK reach of SmartWorks, it would be to the local centre. Right, okay. Um, and it's just kind of the, the normal things, really. We don't accept anything with holes or... Or marks, everything should be yes. kind of as as we would be able to give it away to one of our clients. Perfect. Yeah. I'll pop all of the details yeah. <laughs> in the description box down below. There's going to be a lot of information down there, but yeah. hopefully it will be everything that you guys need. So, yeah, perfect. So I thought we'd finished up with Antigone, but she's actually just having her makeup done with one of the Bobbi Brown experts. So we're going to go and take a look at that in a second. But the ladies have just shown me what happens when you come for your first fitting. Everyone is given one of these amazing Orla Keeley makeup bags filled with products. So there's stuff from Bobbi Brown, there's stuff from Burt's Bees, and they're all completely unopened. If I can get inside, it's always hard doing this one-handed, isn't it? Oh! There we go. So there's some eyelashes in there. There's some uh, face masks. We've got some Ciate uh, melted metals, some shower gel. So that's what you will receive on your first dressing appointment. And so there's lots here for any of the ladies that come in for their first dressing appointments very soon. But now we are gonna go and see how she's getting on with Bobby Brown, which is one of the partners with SmartWorks. So it's gonna be amazing to see how they fit into the mix of this. And so we'll start off with a bit of skincare. So we're right, talking through what skincare can you use for your skin, how to make makeup last. Yeah. Um, we've gone on to like concealer, foundation, powder, obviously, mm -hmm. to make your makeup last throughout the day. Yeah. Um, and then we're going to go on to a little bit of the color. Ooh! What, 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 just something really nice and natural because yeah. you don't like anything too Too heavy. Right. Yeah. It's all about looking glamour. Yes. Yeah. And have you had, have you worked together before? No. So, okay, amazing. Yeah. And is this your first time experiencing this side of it? It is. Yeah. Right, okay. It is, yeah. That's just your face. Oh. Do you like it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you like it? I like it. Really, really yeah. nice. Yeah. Really natural. The skin looks flawless. She has very, a great skin to begin with. I think I like very, very Oh my god. Let's fun. go for it. It's got such an amazing <laughs> spread here as well. Okay. Yeah. I've always known that the, the shade range as well with Bobby Brown makeup yeah, is it's incredible. like one yeah. of the best, yeah. so this yeah. is brilliant. Mm -hmm. Yeah, five years I've never not been able to come match someone. Wow, really, really wow. cool. That is, <laughs> that is something. <laughs> So we've just finished up with Antigone and now we are sitting in with the interview coaching process and I'm actually going to speak to the ladies that are behind the whole thing and this is the one thing that I am so so excited about because I've always understood the power of dressing and how it makes you feel but this is the part of this that makes it really beautiful because it's not just making you look the part, it's making you confident in your abilities and making you feel like you're equipped going into the interview process and hopefully like Antigone you go on and get the job. So I'm really, really excited to speak to Lindsay and Karen today, and I can't wait to hear what they've got to say. So we've got some questions prepared, but I know that they're gonna, they're gonna tell me lots more about it. So let's get into the process. So this is the part of the process that I think is gonna be the most informative and the most valuable. So I would love to just hear about what, what happens yeah. when women come to this section of the, the SmartWorks process. And yeah. just, any areas that I think that you would like to let people know where, if someone can get involved and help in any way mm -hmm. or if you need any tools in this this area then mm -hmm. this is the perfect place for you to make that known basically mm -hmm. but yeah I'd love to know more about it basically. So it's it's just such a rewarding thing they, for us particularly sitting in the coaching room because they come out of their dressing yeah and they're already boosted quite significantly because they've got some amazing clothes and I think you've been in been in and seen that. Yeah. Like, amazing things. Sometimes I'm quite jealous. And <laughs> um, they come in here and we always ask to see what they've got in their bag. Yeah. Because sometimes they're quite nervous when they come in here because they think it's going to be a bit like the actual job interview. Yeah. And sometimes you can see in their eyes that they're a little bit daunted by this part that, yeah. of the process because it's the part of the next stage of the process that they're also most worried about. Mm. And so when they come in here, I typically try to do everything I can to put them at ease to start with. And so talking about the clothes and the experience they've just had really helps with that. And my first major goal is, is just to put them at ease. Yeah. Some people haven't had an interview for maybe 10, 15, 20 years. 
we have a lot of people who have been at home looking after children for a long time and who are just coming back into the workplace. Yeah. We have people who, sometimes we have people who are leaving prison, we have people who have been refugees and who have arrived in this country quite recently, but we also have people who have good qualifications but who have really struggled to get work recently. You can fall into an area you where you just have lost your confidence. Absolutely, and, and actually yeah. I find that often those people are the people who are most likely to be upset yeah. when they come in because they there's a lot of frustration or lack of understanding or self-doubt about why they find themselves suddenly yeah, in this the position. Yeah. And so I would tend to start off by asking them what they're most worried about, about the interview process, mm -hmm. and then I would tend to work with them on, on that. Mm -hmm. And that might be typically um, how to explain away this big gap in their in their work history or in their CV. So true. What to say? Yeah. How will I how will I explain that and yeah. what will the employer expect? Or it might be that they don't know how to answer that really challenging question that nearly all employers ask you first off, which is tell me a bit about yourself. And the blank sheet of paper question <laughs> is the one where you find yourself going, uh, um, Oh gosh, what uh, do you want to know? Uh, what do you want to know? Where will <laughs> yeah. I start? What will I say? That would be something I would try to help people with because I think if you can really kick it off strongly and confidently, then you're much more likely to make a good job of the, of the rest of it. All these things are things that if you think about it and with a bit of help, you can turn into skills which are relevant for work. Mm. And so positives that, positives. They, that they wouldn't have known that no, were they there. They just see it as everyday life. And yeah, they have so many positives that are on a day-to-day -day basis that they're using. Yeah. Yeah. And so I see a big part of what we do here as being all about trying to find those positives and to help people to see them for themselves. Yeah and to help people to leave this room feeling more confident about the, the interview that they're going to have than they felt when they, when they arrived. Something you can also do, which I think is really important, which I really try to do with everybody, is to normalise the way that they're feeling. Yeah. Because everyone feels super anxious yes. about an interview. And it's to do with your brain's chemistry, yeah. because our fight or flight response yes kicks in in an interview situation because that's the most dangerous thing that can happen to you right at yeah. that particular moment in time. And it's when you're passionate about something yeah. that you are going to be nervous. When you really want something, that's a good response to have. Absolutely. And, I mean, people, even the people that you think wouldn't experience nervousness, you know, like Beyonce or whatever, she experiences nervousness yeah. and that's normal. It's weird because you think that everyone else has got it all figured out and actually it is Absolutely not. Mm -hmm. I, yeah. I sit with two senior people every day of the week and every single one of them is nervous about something. Mm -hmm. Uh, managing their own stress and their own anxiety. Yeah. So I would I share that with the people who come in here as well because yeah. I, you know, I think it's really important. Yeah. The interviewer mostly unless the interviewer is particularly unusual, wants them to do a good job. Yeah. The interviewer really wants you to do a good job. The yeah. interviewer has spent a lot of time going through the CVs, choosing the people, preparing the questions, preparing for the interview. These are like light bulb moments for me as well. I'm right, like, oh my okay. gosh, yeah. Right. I'm like, That's of course nice. they do. They're not going to want their time. So to... the interviewer yeah. has got lots invested in you as well. The yeah. interviewer is really willing you on. Are there types and circumstances that you see that are, are the most common? Because I think that there's probably going to be a lot of women that are watching this and they think, you know, am I... Am I in this position? Am I right to go to SmartWorks? And well, to start with, there are two criteria, which are that you have to have been out of work for right. a period of time. Mm -hmm. So you can't be in a job at no. the moment. And you have to be referred by someone. And so typically that would be the job centre, mm -hmm. um, your, your employment mm -hmm. coach who would refer you, um, or there are lots of charities which help people to, and trusts which help people to get into work who would refer you. If you are regularly going to the job centre, you can say to them, I'm at this, this point, yeah. I've got a job interview, I yeah. need a little bit more help. Yeah. Um, can you put me in touch with SmartWorks? You could do that. And that, Absolutely. that's fine. Absolutely. Okay. You could do that. We're always happy to build more relationships yeah. with other organisations as well. You are a trained coach. Yeah, I am a trained yes. executive coach, actually, yes. And is that the norm? No. no so people, can anyone come and do coaching? And do coaching, yeah. yeah. Um, so the people who come and do coaching tend to be people who have 
quite a lot of business experience, right? Um, or they might be people who've worked in HR, mm -hmm. um, and some people are are trained coaches. Mm -hmm. um, and I wanted to do it because I had a pretty big full time corporate job for a long time, and I gave that up and retrained, went freelance as an executive coach, and then suddenly I had a bit more time, and I really wanted to do something that would make a difference, yeah. like everybody does really, yeah. <laughs> I know it sounds corny, but no. we do all actually want to yeah. make a difference, I think we all do, yeah. it's really one of the most rewarding things that I do. Yeah, that's the general consensus that I'm yeah. getting from speaking to everyone here, it's just, it was when we were doing the dressing appointment, everyone was visibly getting emotional just yeah. talking about how amazing it is the yeah. work that they do here. And, I, yeah, it, I bet it's just absolutely incredible every every time you're here to just meet so many different people and help them change their lives. Yeah. Because I think that's the, the biggest thing for me is being able to, if, you know, I have hundreds of thousands of women that, that watch what I'm doing every yeah. day and I'm sure a lot of them sit there and they think, how do I change this circumstance that I found myself in? Yeah. And I was saying to one of the other ladies that they message me. Right. I get a lot of messages from from women who don't know what to do and they reach out to me, they, they don't think I'll ever read the message, they're yes. just vocalising how they're feeling yes. and it's in my inbox and it's actually been increasing over the last sort of year and I, you know, I, I felt like I want to help them but I, would, I didn't know how yeah. and I think that this is the perfect place to, yeah. for women in mm. those situations to yeah. go. And, start the process of changing their lives yeah. and for me it's really important to be able to do that as well however you know even if I am just the middle man putting them together yeah, no, <laughs> brilliant. No, I mean, I can't remember everything I said yeah. <laughs> that seems that seems quite um, oh, good. comprehensive oh, thank you so much thank you're you. welcome that was brilliant it really was cool. we've just finished up with the interview coaches which was just fascinating I was so excited for that one probably the thing that I was most excited about so and now I'm going to be having a chat with Kate and Kate is the CEO of Smartworks and I'm really looking forward to this. I've met her before but it's going to be really interesting to hear about her plans for Smartworks and also how she got involved and as well as any information that she wants you guys to know because the main thing about this video is that I'm letting you know about the amazing things that they do so I, I just want you guys to find this as informative as possible really so we're going to finish up our green teas and go and have a chat with Kate. So I'm joined by Kate, who is the CEO of Smartworks, and basically we are just going to have a little bit of a chat, and I'm going to find out exactly what Kate does here, what her plans are for, for Smartworks, and also any other important information that you think that my audience are going to probably know. So I would love to know how you started, like what, what happened? <laughs> how did you find Smartworks? <laughs> well, actually, I was very lucky. I came here when we were just a tiny London uh, charity and I could see the potential it was just such a brilliant idea yeah I think like all concepts it's just based in a really fundamental truth which is that when a woman look and feels good about herself she's able to succeed yeah and do her best yeah and actually that's so important before a job interview mm -hmm. and a lot of the time life does come down to these moments when you either fail or succeed mm -hmm. and what we're doing is bottling up that moment when it really matters and allowing a woman to be her best and giving her those tools she needs to be able to do it. And that's exactly what we've seen today. We really are equipping these women with everything they need to go out and feel confident and able to, to just succeed in these interviews. And I think we saw that at the beginning of this video with Anta going like, I just, yeah. Her, we just couldn't stop smiling and I just I, I don't think I'd be able to cope with that amount of like positivity every day yeah. I'd just be like oh, it's amazing <laughs> goosebumps the yeah, yeah. yeah it was That's such true. a wonderful experience oh. to see that so for us it's so important that people can trust what we're doing here and know that they'll be looked after that they'll be cared for that they'll be made to feel that the weight is taken off their shoulders just for a small amount of time so that they can really think about themselves of what they're capable of mm -hmm. and you know we try to put a woman in a bubble so that she can leave here and go and get the job mm -hmm. and from there you know I passionately believe that if a woman has then got a job she's able to potentially change her life yeah it's the start of something so exciting that's what we want to harness really so for us it's so important to be able to spread the message that we're here because you wouldn't really know yeah you well, know. That's the thing, isn't it? <laughs> it's just it's this amazing thing that's happening 
all over England. Yeah. Where, where is it that you've got locations? So we're an urban model, so we tend to be in cities. Right. And we want to be in as many cities as we can. I'd love any woman around the UK to be able to find her way to a smart work centre. At the moment we're in uh, Leeds, Manchester, right. Edinburgh, Newcastle and Reading. And uh, so you just celebrated the, the Reading's fourth birthday, yes, right? Yeah, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. The person comes to visit us that they're sensitive to our clients, mm -hmm. they understand uh, yeah. what a woman's going through and that's been so lovely to see you and have you here today and be part of that because it would be very easy to get this wrong and yeah. to kind of undermine somebody somehow Absolutely. and that's just exactly not what we're doing. Yeah. We're about women supporting other women on their journey back to work and there's yeah. something uniquely empowering about that, I think. I feel that empowerment and that, that positivity that's radiating from here and when we were in the, in the styling session earlier we were all just standing around just talking about the things that we face on a day-to-day -day basis and we're, we're all in the same boat. We all have the, the exact same feelings and those feelings of self-doubt and those feelings of, you know, am I good enough, imposter syndrome. And it's amazing to have an organisation here that when people have spiralled like that to a point where they need a little bit of help getting their confidence back and believing in themselves, that this is the place to come and experience that because I think that that's... It, it's kind of opened my eyes as well to how powerful dressing is yeah. as a part of that. Yes, it's a two-pronged attack. So mm. you're, you know, you're, you're giving them the tools to learn how to to go and get the uh, get the job. Sorry, but you're also making them feel that power as well. And I just think that's brilliant. It's about what the clothes say about you yeah. and yeah. how they make you feel. Exactly. If, if, if you exactly. love an electric blue blazer, then yeah. that's your power. That's exactly. your thing that you put on and it makes you feel amazing. Exactly. And I think that's so important. Yeah. Yeah. Power, that's the thing that's going to make you feel yeah. amazing. But if you're in a safe space and you think about how do I want to look at you? Yes. When did someone ask, ask you that question? Yeah. How do you want to look at interview? and give someone a space to be there and suggest different things for them and yeah. then every woman will connect with a different thing and you can never quite predict it as yeah. the joys of the service actually to see what a, what a woman ends up wearing and yeah. what she wears for it. <laughs> yeah. And then you've done a lot of work with Meghan Markle as well and that's obviously a partnership that you are incredibly proud of. I'd love to know more about how that came about and the impact that she has had mm. on SmartWorks and the awareness and also just having her as a part of it because I feel like she's such a she's such an amazing person and to have her as a part of it I feel like that must be quite empowering as well. Yeah, oh definitely. She's an incredibly inspiring uh, person and I think of all the things that she's done for us and will do in the future I'm sure it's actually just raising that awareness yeah. of the charity and helping us help more women. Yeah. So since she's become our patron we have been busier than we've ever been before in actually oh, reaching wow. women, which has been amazing and actually is the judge of what we do. Really. Yeah. So that has been the single most exciting thing and you know it's still very early stages. Mm -hmm. We're talking outside because I watched the footage of when she yes. came because it was actually this, it was here, yes, this, this office that she yeah, came yeah. to. And, um, there was a bit on there that made me, well, made us all laugh because she was t telling a story about how she picked out a bag for a lady <laughs> and the lady was like, oh no, that's not for me. And it was actually one of Megan's yeah. bags. And I just thought that's so brilliant because that just shows a woman that knows what exactly what we're saying. Exactly. That, that it, what's hers is not necessarily exactly. someone else's, exactly. but she knew what it was that made her feel powerful. Exactly. So I did, I did laugh. But she handled it so well. I know. And so what do you have in terms of plans for SmartWorks, what do you have coming up? Because I know that there's the seller, the seller partnership mm. that you're doing again, which you did last year as well. Yeah, that's yeah. right. And so you've got some other things. We have so yeah. much stuff. I know. <laughs> yeah, it's a very exciting time. Um, I mean, from a SmartWorks point of view, we want to open the service in more cities around the UK. Right. So we're hoping to open our doors in Leeds, so we can help people in Yorkshire. And then in London, we're doing quite a few big um, events. So one that you've just mentioned, Somerset House, a very kindly donator, some beautiful rooms that look in the ice yeah. rink on the river. And the idea is that brands will come and do a little pop-up shop. Influencers might bring a rail. Yeah, I think I'm um, getting involved. Oh, I'm so <laughs> <I'm> so <excited>. <laughs> <laughs> was like, you, you come down if you want, but you don't have to. I was like, I absolutely yeah. want to come down. So I was, I was like, like do you morning or afternoon? I was like, can we both? both? Yeah. <laughs> Bringing everyone together. It's basically a fantastic Christmas shopping. <laughs> but the money all goes to um, SmartWorks to help us do what we're doing. But in the same time, everyone comes and enjoys shopping. So that's going to be our kind of... Christmas highlight, I think. Oh, good. Um, Perfect. I know. And just to kind of finish things up, if there's anyone that is watching this that maybe 
wants to reach out to SmartWorks and maybe make use of their services or get involved because it's all volunteers mm -hmm. as well, isn't That's it? That's right. So, yeah, if, if there's any way that you can help them get involved, yeah, that would be amazing. Definitely. They were basically powered by people donating either their time or their clothes or their money to support yeah. what we're doing. So. Um, we have a beautiful dressing room full of clothes. If you've got any beautiful clothes that you don't need anymore, then please send them into your nearest smart work centre. That would be fantastic. If I know my audience, I know that they have loads and loads of beautiful clothes. And everyone so. has something in their wardrobe yeah. that they haven't worn. They've still got the label on that could go to help another woman, or maybe yeah. they've stopped working, or they have spare work clothes. So anything that's interview appropriate, we just ask, please do send that in. It's all beautifully sorted and steamed and hung in our wardrobe. All our dressing and coaching is done by volunteers, mm -hmm. um, which is amazing. And we also have pop-up days where people can come in and help us sort through the wardrobe and get everything sorted out. And that's done by volunteers yeah. as well. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. So we, we do, if you've got a team that you want to bring in and all that kind of thing, we can we can work with that too. And then obviously you can fundraise for us. So when right. we want to have a coffee morning or run a fashion oh, sale really or a, do that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We just, we're just a charity and we need people to do lots of things for us. And then we have our own initiatives and shopping events or sponsored things that we do throughout the year as well. So there's lots of ways to get involved. Perfect. Oh, that's brilliant. Well, if Amazing. there's any more information that you need, I will have popped absolutely everything <laughs> in the description box down below where you can get in touch, whatever it is that you want to do here at SmartWorks. So, yeah. Hopefully that's got everything covered, but thank you so much for letting me amazing. take you away from your work today, which you're busy doing changing people's lives. But thank you so much for talking to me and thank you so much for having me here because it's been such a brilliant day. Thank oh, you. Thank you for coming. Oh, thank you. Seriously. I don't think there's much more that I can add to the end of this video, but as I mentioned in the beginning, all of the information and anything you might need will be in the description box down below. Thank you so much for watching this far and yeah, thank you.